In this video, Timmy's going to show you two different ways to check how many photos you have in Google Photos. So if you're wondering just how many thousands of photos you have backed up to Google Photos over the years, this is how you can find out. The first method to check how many photos you have in Google Photos is to log into your Google account dashboard by going to myaccount.google.com slash dashboard you can do this on any device, as long as you're logged into your Google account. And once you're here, somewhere under recently used Google services, if we scroll down here, you'll find photos. And this first number here is how many photos you have in Google Photos. This is a demo account Timmy's using, so Timmy only has 213 photos but it would show you however many photos you have here. So that's really all there is to it. Now you know how many photos you have in Google Photos, but there is one problem with this method. If you have a lot of photos in Google Photos, it won't actually show you the specific number of photos you have. Instead, it will just show you a general range. For example, if Timmy does this in Timmy's personal account, it just says Timmy has 30,000 plus photos, when Timmy actually has 36,335 photos. So it gives you a reasonably good idea of how many photos you have, but it's just not very specific. But if you want to see exactly how many photos you have, you can use method two. Unfortunately, you can only do this method on an Android phone or tablet, Timmy can't find any way to do anything similar on an iPhone or on a computer, but if you do have any Android phone or tablet, all you need to do is make sure you have the Google Photos app installed and set up on your device. So here it is here, but then actually go out of the Google Photos app and open up Gmail. Any email app would actually probably do the job, but Timmy's going to use Gmail because most people probably have Gmail. And now once you're in Gmail, you'll need to tap on compose, which might sound a bit strange and we're actually not going to compose an email, but you'll just need to tap on compose to bring up this compose window and then tap on the paperclip up here next to the send button and tap attach file. And this is probably sounding even weirder, but don't worry, we don't actually have to attach a file. Now you'll be in this sort of files app thing where it shows you the recent files on your phone. And this part might look a bit different depending on your device, but it should be the same general sort of idea. You should have your files somewhere here and a few buttons up here. And now once you're in here, you'll need to tap on this menu in the top left corner. And then in this menu that appears, if you scroll down a bit, you should hopefully find photos here. And if you tap on photos, you'll see up the top here, it says 36,335 photos. And that means Timmy has 36,335 photos in Timmy's Google Photos account. So now we know the exact number of how many photos we have. So once you've found that out, you don't have to do anything else in here. You can just go back and completely get out of that. And now you know exactly how many photos you have in Google Photos. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want to create some albums in Google, Google Photos to try and organize your tens of thousands of photos, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.